All right, welcome back, everybody. This is the very last module for mastering GLSL and Touch Designer Part One. Uh, so thank you for making it this far, and I'm excited to get into things today and wrap up this course. So I think at this point, everybody is pretty familiar with me. I'm a new media artist based in New York. I explore how technology alters perception and human connection. And I do these through interactive installations, which I build with Touch Designer and GLSL predominantly. I've been using a lot of the techniques that I covered in this course in these works and a bunch of others as well. So I'm excited to be able to share those with you guys. And I'm glad that this is the end of this course because it's been quite a while. So last uh, but not least, we are going to be porting from Shader Toy to Touch Designer, kind of using this to bring everything together. And I'm also gonna be going over a capstone uh, project for you guys. So very minimal slides today. Now that you know how GLSL works and you've written a bunch of shaders and read a bunch of shaders, I don't think it should be very difficult to understand how to port something from one shader context to another because the phenomenal thing is that uh, their syntax and kind of high level logic is gonna be the same in each of those contexts. What might be a little bit different our naming conventions, what uniforms may be pre-declared um, by the environment, and what everything needs to be called. So that's really what we got to focus on to be able to port these guys. And so some things uh, in Shader Toy have different names than in Touch Designer. Here's a couple of them, and we'll go through an example, and then I will turn you all loose. So in Shader Toy, there's these things called buffers, and maybe it's actually helpful if I bring up Shader Toy at this point. So, uh, yeah, so Shader Toy, right? Shaders, um, we're gonna look at this shader. And so there's these things, and these things are called buffers. So buffers in Shader Toy correspond to tops in Touch Designer. So if you have multiple buffers, you need multiple tops. Uh, shader Toy calls their inputs something like I channel 0, 1, 2, 3. Touch Designer calls them this STD inputs, whatever. Main image is instead called main. Eye resolution is pre-declared in Shader Toy, so we have to call, uh, well, we can call it whatever we like, but then we have to replace um, or like declare our own uniform in Touch Designer and then propagate that change. And lastly, uh, there's another pre-declared frag chord variable in Shader Toy that we have to, to create ourselves or replace with gl underscore frag chord in Touch Designer. So that is probably not the most helpful. I think what will be very helpful is a example. So I will leave our slides. We'll go into Touch Designer and take a look at a couple examples. So here are the examples we're going to be porting. This one is going to be the example that we're porting today. And these two are going to be for exercises. Before we get any further, as, the last, as with the last lessons, the rest of this video is going to be for my Patreons only. Thank you so much for everyone who has joined and supported me on Patreon as part of this course. It really means a lot to me. And uh, it is incredible to see so many people getting a great value out of my teaching. So I appreciate that. Um, so to watch the rest of this course and check out these shaders, uh, subscribe on Shader Toy. If you don't want to do that, uh, just follow, subscribe on YouTube. And yeah, check out my other videos. For those of you who are on my Patreon, uh, let's get into this and also talk about the capstone. Okay, 